So we have another big discount Primaris box with Combat Patrol Dark Angels, the Dark Angels Codex, and plenty of other new 40k releases this week. Hello and welcome back to Warspex Tactics, the strategy focused 40k channel, where today we're taking a look at this week's releases, in particular this brand new Dark Angels Combat Patrol box. We'll talk about that first, then talk about everything else that's coming out. So Combat Patrol Dark Angels will likely be £85 or $140, and as usual it gives you a fairly decent discount on the models contained within. This one's going to contain a Redemptor Dreadnought, a Primaris Chaplain, 5 Intercessors, the Dark Angels Upgrade Sprue, and 3 Inceptors. Judging by all the previous releases, these will indeed be the full kits, so you'll have the option available to trade out those Assault Bolters for Plasma Weapons on the Inceptors, and have all the variants of Bolt Rifle and Gatling Gun on the Redemptor. In general, I think this kind of falls in line with the other Star Collecting boxes that we've seen. Basically, it's really quite good as a generic Space Marine starter set, but it doesn't really have all that much that's massively Dark Angels flavoured in it. No unique Ravenwing or Deathwing units, for example. To be honest, this is both a good thing and a bad thing in my mind. It means that this box could be a great pickup for a number of different chapters, and it's really nice to see the Inceptors, Redemptor, and Chaplain kit all discounted, as those ones aren't at the moment anywhere else, I believe and they're all pretty solid core units that you'd want in a Space Marine army. That does obviously come at the price of some flavour though, I'm sure we'd love to see some Ravenwing bikers and Deathwing units, but it does seem that Games Workshop are sticking to Primaris in these bundles, and I'd be surprised if we get too many more Space Marine kits in the near future, we already have a lot this year, as everyone knows. As it goes, given the lack of any other units that aren't Primaris, it is fairly appropriate for Dark Angels I think. Nice Dreadnought toting a plasma weapon, Intercessors to hold the battle line, chaplains are very appropriate for the Unforgiven, and Plasma and Scepters are really scary in the Dark Angels army. I've certainly got memories of big units of them deleting large chunks of my army throughout 8th edition, jumping down and hosing them with 3 damage plasma via weapons of the Dark Age. I'd be amazed if there isn't at least some synergy with plasma weapons in the Dark Angels Codex, though of course we're going to have to wait till the weekend until we can see some of the more fine details of the Codex. In any case, overall I think that the box could be an excellent starter kit for getting into Space Marines in general. Buy this and the Blood Angels box set, and you've already got yourself a well-rounded Space Marine army with a fair few interesting and threatening units. So moving on to the other releases for the week, and it's mainly stuff that was seen shown off really quite a long time ago. We do have the Dark Angels Codex, perhaps a little bit earlier than I was expecting, and of course there's the usual Collector's Edition for it, and also Dark Angels Data Cards. No mention of any faction specific dice though, at least so far. I'm afraid for anyone who was hoping that the Lion might make a return, we don't have any Primark releases alongside this codex. I'm afraid he's still going to be snoozing on the rock until a later date. It does appear that they're trying to finish up the Space Marine and Necron release though. We've got the Blade Guard, the Eradicators, and the Storm Speeder kit all being released alongside Dark Angels. All of these guys were shown off really quite a long time back, and I'm sure Space Marine players who are planning their army around these units will be glad to get their hands on them. We've already seen a full sprue breakdown for the Blade Guard veterans earlier in the week. The Eradicators will give them the options to arm with those heavy melter rifles or multi melters, and they remain some of the most potent firepower in all of Warhammer 40k, even having gone up a few points in the latest FAQ. Finally, I guess the Storm Speeder might be somewhat appropriate for going alongside Ravenwing in the new Codex. It'll be interesting to see if they get any synergy or options with Dark Angels, though to be honest, just on their raw stats, they aren't the strongest unit in the Space Marine decks. On the Necron side, we have this Necron Psychomancer on the bottom right. He's the spooky scary Cryptek, who has that holographic pixel art skull coming out at the enemy. Though to be honest, if you're in the Imperium and you're scared of skulls, you probably don't want to look at your own war gear too much. It does pretty much confirm that we're not getting the Chronomancer, Flayed Ones or Heavy Intercessors on their own yet. It seems that they're all going to be saved with that Kill Team box that we saw previewed the other day. And at least for this week, there's no sign of that whatsoever. Still though, quite a lot going on. I'm sure Games Workshop will give us some previews for Dark Angels rules as we go through the week, and of course as soon as we have full details for the Codex, I will certainly make a full Codex review. I think with a full expanded list of options, Dark Angels are shaping up to be fairly scary, their Inner Circle Terminators are ridiculously hard to put down, and I suspect that they're only going to be getting more options from this new Codex. So let me know what you think of the Combat Patrol box and all the new releases coming out this weekend. Personally I think that the box is good, Obviously it's a shame not to have any more unique units in there, I'm sure Games Workshop will get round to making some unique primary stuff for the different chapters at some point or another, though obviously there's a ton of other factions that need attention. Feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics if you'd like to see more like this, 
and probably a fair few Dark Angels videos going towards the end of the week. We also have regular 40k stuff pretty much every day. Finally, if you are enjoying my videos, I would just like to mention that the channel has one way to support it, which is an Element Games affiliate link, which is down in the video description below. If you were thinking about buying some miniatures in the near future, consider Element, they're a decent discount retailer within the UK, and if you buy anything from them after clicking on the link, a small amount goes to help support Auspex Tactics without costing you any more whatsoever. It can just be a way to help support the channel if you were thinking about buying something anyway. For people in the USA and Canada, there is also a similar Amazon link. Again, if you click on that and literally buy anything whatsoever off Amazon, a small amount goes to help support Auspex Tactics without costing you any more. A massive thank you to you guys who have been doing that, it really does help keep the channel going. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.